and welcome along. Today we are back on Thrungai and Oberland and uh, and we're up at the shop again. Uh, and the reason why we're up at the shop is because uh, let's have a look at our map and I can show you. So field one is our is our field. As you can see, it is full of weeds. Um, it is also not fully fertilized yet. So we need something to do that with. We need uh, we need a piece of equipment we can do that with. Looking at the side of our size of our field, our best bet, I think, uh, is uh, is going to be the Hardy. Uh, it holds uh, 2,200 liters, which is uh, yeah slightly less than the Delta setup, uh, but it also has a nice big width on it as well, uh, and it's also cheaper than the Delta, the full Delta setup. So, uh, and it's not quite as expensive as, as once you get onto the, the larger stuff. So, uh, we're going to get one of those. So, we've got, we've actually got our cow tractor up here. As you can see, though, we have a small problem. We have, uh, it's 35,000 to buy it, and it's 10,000 that we've got. So, uh, the first thing we'll do today is we need to borrow uh, the uh, 35,000 to do it. I want to leave the 10,000 for other stuff. So, uh, we need to borrow another uh, 35,000, which is uh, seven hits of the space bar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And so now we have the money to purchase that. So let's do that. Uh, nice looking sprayer, this, uh, this Hardy Mega. So we'll buy that. Yep, okay. And if we then head round to the other side, over here, apart from our a nice cow vulture, there is our hardy sprayer. So let's jump in the tractor, start her up, and away we go. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we've got a nice big weight. We've got a 600, uh, 1600 kilogram weight on the front here uh, because while it makes this tractor a little bit unwieldy getting up here, once we actually have the sprayer on the back and the sprayer full, especially. Uh, Suddenly, having all of that weight on the front of the tractor just makes a lot of sense. So, we are going to head back down to the farm. Uh, we'll get this filled up first with, uh, I think, first with some uh, some herbicide, and uh, and get it doing that. Uh, and then we're going to get and we'll get the field sprayed with that, uh, and then we're going to fertilise it. So it's probably going to be a, a fair amount of fertilising today to do that we do have a contract lined up on field two for some harvesting uh this job though at the moment really is taking precedence really is important we need to get this done uh because if we don't uh then we're gonna find ourselves in trouble down the road we're gonna get a lot less uh for our crop or a lot less of our crop our yield will be a lot lower so uh yeah let's get this back to the farm and uh, and get it filled up I've made a small detour on our way back to the farm because I suddenly realised uh, we don't. I don't think we have a fill point for the um, for the herbicide down at our uh, down at our farm. So we're down here because this is. I think this is the garden centre, and somewhere around here is a refill point. I think we're actually going to go round and out the other side. Uh, is a refill point for the herbicide. Now that there is seeds, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit... I'm a little bit uncertain as to exactly where the refill point for the herbicide is down here. But we do want to... I do need to find it down here because I don't think we have one down at our farm. Here we go. That's better. So, herbicide refill point must be around here somewhere. There's manure. There's seeds. I'm thinking that that is going to be... Pestito, is that? No, that was fuel. Is this a refill point? I'm not sure it is. 
Okay, after much hunting around uh, around here, this is it. So, uh, Glass Frostfed Das Original, uh, that is uh, that is it. If you press R here, you can see we get herbicide. So we'll fill that up, uh, which is filled up very quickly. Uh, 2,640 for the other, there we go. So, let's get this back to the farm and uh, and get this on our crops. So we've made it back to our yard and uh, we're just heading out to field one now. Uh, I'm very glad I have this front weight on this tractor. It's, uh, I, I would be in a lot of trouble if I didn't. Our crop is looking very nice, other than the, other than the big load of weeds that are in it. The crop is looking really quite nice at the moment. Very, very yellow, which is always good. Right, let's fold this out. We're going to start from this corner. Oh, I need to lift that out of the crop. Which it will do as soon as it's stretched out. That's probably not the most realistic way to have done that. But there we go. Right, so we're going to go around the headland first and get that spread. That wants to be a bit lower, just above the crop. And uh, yeah, away we go. Hopefully, there is enough herbicide in this tank to do this job. So we shall see. Uh, we can sort of see the weeds coming up out of the crop. Uh, they are, they are quite. Uh, it's, it's it's lost in this sea of yellow. All these weeds, which is quite amazing thing to see. But uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, this looks this looks spectacular. Really gorgeous. Wow. Uh, so yeah, we'll get these weeds out of here. And uh, and that will help our crop no end. Will be a massive benefit to us. And then from there we can uh, we can go and we can get uh, we can get some fertilizer. Fertilizer we do have down at the yard. Uh, at the moment it's one of those things that uh, that I know we do have. I don't think we have herbicide. As I said, the reason why I went down to the garden centre then to fill up and uh, and find that was because uh, I don't think we have a herbicide tank. Down at the yard, we can add herbicide from. I'll try and waste as little as this as possible. I don't know whether this tank. Oh wow! I don't know whether this tank is going to cover this whole field. Uh, and a, you know, a trip down to the garden centre again is really quite time-consuming, as opposed to going up to the shop and just buying a whole load of herbicide. Um, so I'll either I'll either do that or I'll uh, go and um, I'll go and find us a. Uh, a mod that allows us to put a herbicide tank in. Wow, that's quite a wide stretch. Oh, that's because that is still our crop out there. Uh, it just has, uh, it's just not quite grown as much. So I'm going to need to come back up that side there to do that. Right, I'm going to get the uh, the rest of this field done. We'll see if we, uh, we have enough in this tank to do this or we find that we are short uh, and either way I will come back to you in a bit so see you there okay so we're down to we're down to two percent herbicide uh, it's not going to be enough to finish field. We're going to be, uh, we're in a position where uh, we're actually going to be only marginally short. It's uh, it's not a massive uh, amount that we're short, but it is enough, uh, you know. Although this, uh, there we go. There's our line. So yeah, it's uh, it's marginally short. And we are, there we go, we are out. So let's get this off the field. Uh, and it's, yeah, if we look at our map, we are, ah, uh, we've got a couple of bits that we need to fix and a couple of errors and things. But in general, it's not too bad. Uh, but we are out of herbicide. So uh, let's fold this in as we come off the field. A fairly sharp angle. 
of those up. Right, so I don't think... So we will just check quickly on our map. What we have here is uh, none of these... That's chickens. Yeah, none of these are herbicides. There is no herbicide around our yard at all. Um, I don't believe I've got a placeable in here that allows me to put it. It might do. Let's have a look. Do we have... We have a lime station, but we don't have a placeable... Um, placeable anything else, unless it's in the silos, which I would guess it's not either. No, so we do need to get a placeable uh, herbicide point. So uh, I'm going to pop down to... Back down to the garden centre, get this filled up. Get ourselves back here, and uh, and then we'll be able to get rid of the rest of, uh, or get rid of the rest of the weeds on the field. So uh, yeah, I will see you back here in a moment. Alright, so we're refilled and back at the field. Uh, we're just unfolding the arms on our sprayer. Doing it outside the field this time. So as to not hurt any of the crop. There we go. And, uh, and head back in. So we need to work out exactly where we were. Or, uh, or a good spot for us to continue from. If we look on the map here. Uh, we can see that uh, we could actually uh, we could actually start going from uh, sort of doing a 180 at this point. We can see we can actually see some in their crop. We'll turn it on, and here we go. Where we go? Make sure we're 170, so we're going at the right angle. And away we go. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get this finished off and done and dusted. So there we go, down the bottom end of the field now, just uh, dealing with this patch uh, that we've got on, that, that sorry, we missed at the start. And, uh, and spraying the last few weeds on that. Uh, and then that will be this field done and dusted. Uh, and it's taken me a little bit longer than expected, partly because we had to run back and forth to the, uh, to the garden centre and get the herbicide. Uh, I am going to rectify that on the farm. That is the one thing that we don't have access to on the farm. So I need to sort that out. Uh, but otherwise, that has worked out quite well. I'm really quite pleased with, uh, with how that's gone. We've managed to cover our field in herbicide and kill off all of our weeds. So we'll fold that in at this point. And, uh, and yeah, I'm happy with that. So uh, I think that's where we're going to end this video. Next time we will be doing a harvesting contract. We do have a harvesting contract on field two to get done. Uh, we'll probably get this vulture out here again, uh, but we'll get the hired worker fertilizing this field because this field also needs to be fertilized. Uh, but for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.